celestial k here with another great stretch um, for us and maybe a little meditation so let's get right into it inhale your arms up press your palms together and bring it down to your heart space and if you can let's do it again please like and subscribe to my channel so you're getting all the great yoga benefits um, and yoga meditation and talking exhale down relax inhale up again press your palms together and of course I truly appreciate um, all the likes comments and subscriptions and I know that you as well will enjoy it Press your palms together here, even more forcefully, letting your shoulders relax and drop, pulling in your low belly here. Lift up and in. And taking a moment to close your eyes and tune in. Let's take a moment to open our hearts and be grateful for something. I am completely grateful for my one-year-old son. He is in the room with me, so if you hear noises, that's what it is. But I appreciate your grace during this period where he is making noises during my videos. <laughs> but also know that he is sending energies of light and love throughout every sound that he makes to you all. So soak in that feeling. Breathe in the energy of love. Exhale. Open your eyes gently. Relax down. Slide your right hand out. Inhale your arm up. And reach backwards. Inhale. And fold over. Like a, like a nice half circle here. And a little sway with our breath. Inhale all the goodness that you want to feel today. Today could be a great day or this evening wherever you are. If you could go down further, bend your elbow down. That's awesome. Try to really feel this stretch out. Imagine this hip. And go down, down, down as you stretch, reach up. Do more breaths here. Nice side bend. See if you could bend further, reach further back. And gently come on up. And let's go to the other side. Left hand down, open up and stretch. Yeah, can we talk about that? Inhale, open, exhale, round, inhale. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, this is my son Ezra, and he just had a birthday December 2nd. Oh, I can't believe it because time is really zooming by, isn't it? Yeah. Where'd your sock go? Oh, man. Is that always the question? Where did your sock go? See if you could reach further down, further open, and then come on down to your elbow if you can. If that's too much, then just stay up. If you could stretch further, relaxing into it even more on your exhale. Inhale, expand, and exhale, sink further into where you are is usually how our breaths work in life and in yoga as well. I'll face him since he's here. So come on to your hands and knees, feel this out, inhale, arch your back, pull your chest through. Don't crane your neck here, just keep it nice and soft. I and Feel free to rock a little bit here in this arched position. I have a particularly, um, I, I want to say fragile neck, but maybe that's not right to say. Um, I have like a military neck with my scoliosis, so um, I really want to always be careful with my neck, but feel free to go 
where you can go with yours, round your pelvis, round your mid back and upper back, and all the way. Drop your neck, drop your head and neck. Now rock a little in this rounded position. Seeing how far you can round your body. Inhale, start tilting your pelvis up, low back, mid back, upper back. Inhale, here, a few breaths, holding each cat and cow pose with a little sway. If that feels good for your body, if you want to stay here, there's also a great benefit to that. I like right now, my body wants to move a little bit to get more of a stretchy sensation in my back. And exhale, round, round, round. Okay, when you're ready, come more neutral. And let's scoot back into a child's pose here. But here, I want you to actively push down your hands into the ground in front of you. Pull in your low belly and pull your hips back. I'm in a bit wider stance. You can have wide knees here. My belly, of course, ever since I had him, even though it was a year ago, I need a wider knee stance. Uh, one day, maybe I'll get back to where I don't. Uh, feel like I want that as often, but this is where I am. And part of the yoga path is accepting it where you are now, accepting the moments. I have strength here in my, the pressing of my palms down. My arms are actually really strong. Um, it's so funny how sometimes in yoga you can't tell where it's such a strong thing. Now, lean your hips forward, forward, down. You can bend your elbows, press your chest through your hands, press the top of your feet down and your palms of your hands down, and rock a little here. There is strength here because the elbows are bent, so it has to work, but also your upper back is holding yourself up here. So there's strength in your back, strength in your arms. I said this was a stretch, right? But it's funny how there's stretch and strength here, isn't it? Great combination in yoga. Relax down, down, pull your chest down. And then on an inhale, relax everything. On an inhale, pull yourself up with your back muscles up, up, up. Lightly press on the hands now up. If you can pull all the way up, you can do that. If not, further down with your elbows because maybe that's too intense for your back and come all the way down relax everything completely inhale back muscles up pulling your belly press lightly with the arms and the hands and exhale again mostly back mostly back muscles here we are stretching and strengthening our back muscles Inhale, up. I feel like a little fish or something if I do this. You feel like a fishy. Just me. Just me. Maybe a mermaid. Whoa. Back muscles, back muscles, back muscles. Release gently and down. Come on up. Up, up, wiggle gently up. Let's pull your right leg forward. And we're going to do... um. Our lovely stretching pose here. Where we're stretching this thigh. Now here is perfectly safe to rock from side to side in pigeon pose. Um, <laughs> and it's great. Um, you, if you would like to hold it stagnant, you can do that too and still feel a great stretch. Um, 
but however your body feels like moving is great. Uh, sometimes it's harder for people in this pose to feel comfortable in this pose. They want a lot of pillows and cushion, which you could definitely sit up on a pillow and cushion and face straight like that. But otherwise, you can even just lean to the side, feel out this hip, where there's a nice stretch, or this side, lean to this side, feel out. Oh, I didn't feel that as much. And go to where you do feel it. Pull in your lower belly here, come on up. If you want to do a little stretch with that back leg, stretch it out wide, stretch out long, and if you can, reach your foot to your hand, you can. Feel out this stretch too, lean forward and back. If you can't, grab your foot, and don't worry about it, just keep working on lengthening this stretch. And let's come back and gently switch sides to pigeon pose. Slide that left knee forward. Rock and roll. Rock it out. <laughs> Rock it out. And as you notice, I am doing this in socks. I'm not even doing this in yoga socks right now. It's a little cold where I am. So I'm just keeping the socks on for this whole ride. <laughs> so that's why everything we do right now, I want to be able to do in socks. So that's what's happening. Nice little stretch for our body to still feel good. And again, reach back your leg long. And if you can reach for your foot, that's great. And if you can't reach for your foot, you could push a little into your hand and then have that resistance where your hand is pulling into your foot again. Just a little stretch and strengthen, stretch and strengthen. I'm sucking in my little belly. I have a little belly muscle action going. All right, come back to your hands and knees and slide out of this one. Buddy, come sit gently in your center. Take a moment. I'm going to cross one leg over another leg. <laughs> so my left leg is on top, but you know, whatever leg landed on top for you, totally cool. Let's just be here for this lovely stretch. Inhale and exhale. Relax your shoulders down. Inhale a little higher. Exhale, we're going to twist to the right. See how far you can twist on your exhale. Inhale and twist. And switch sides. Twist to your left. Switch legs. Doop a doop a doop. A doop a doop a doop. <laughs> Lovely stretch. Now twist. Inhale higher and exhale. Twist to the left. This is turning into a mommy and me yoga. But with mommy and me yoga, you just do yoga and then do the best you can, right? So it's a danger. <laughs> Sometimes incorporate somehow doing kisses and cuddles. And let's switch to the other side. In and exhale. Twist. I feel like I could go deeper with this side of the twist. Inhale, relax your neck. 
Relax your shoulders down and twist. And gently come out. Come a little closer. down and relax the way if you want to move to the couch or lie down you can just close your eyes for a moment place your hands over your heart and breathe here tuning into your heart space noticing how your body feels now after some stretch and movement Noticing the quality of your mind and your thoughts to see if they're slower, calmer. Know that you can take the path of ease and flow into your day, into your whole life. Things don't have to be struggled through, but you can breathe some ease into it because the situations they're going to be what they are. But how are you reacting to it? What's your state of mind and your emotions? Because that's what you feel. No one else feels that. So why not choose to feel ease, flow, joy, happiness? As often as you can. in meditation as long as you can. Open your eyes gently. Move your shoulders a bit, your neck. Um, and I do have this product that's on sale that I wanted to talk about that I'm selling. This is called Savvy Glow, um, but it's on sale until Sunday, so I wanted to get this in. This is um, passion berry flavor, but it's really healthy. It's multi-collagen peptides, five types of collagen, but it's more than just that. Um, so as you know, the collagen, collagen is great for youthful skin and joints and everything, joint and bone health and skin, nails, hair, all that stuff. But it definitely has more than just that in it because it also um, helps your gut health, which is great and uh, promotes lean muscles, promotes healthy weight, helps to curve any cravings that you might have. And I know I have a lot of cravings. It has, let's see, um, five, different kind, or five different kinds of collagen peptides with apple cider vinegar, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C. Um, so it's just great for, with a healthy diet and exercise and yoga like we just did. Um, this is, I would have it for you, but what I like to do, okay, I'll just tell you how I make it, it's fun. It's powder, it's like pink powder. You put two scoops, or no, the one, yeah, two scoops. <laughs> you can just choose one, but I do two scoops in a cup, and then I have my little blender, just a tiny little uh, blender thing, or you can just shake it up, but I prefer to use like my little hand blender. What is that called, man? Just saying this. Anyway, you blend it with ice and then I'll, I'll pour it into a little wine glass and then have like my pink, <laughs> my pink drink in a wine glass. It makes me feel healthy. Um, uh, if I can stay away from like a glass of wine or two glasses, you know, my second glass, I'm like, oh, I'll just have my, <laughs> my savvy glow. Anyway, I have definitely noticed um, a difference in, in my skin with this. And of course, maybe, you know, less creaks and everything with the smooth joints um, <laughs> going in my exercises. So I would um, definitely recommend this product. I have it every day. 
and if you would like to try it for a 15% uh, discount, this is the time to do it <laughs> because it's on sale. So I will leave the link below, but there's more than just this there. I also love the other health drink that we have um, uh, for like, it, it's for mainly morning times, afternoon times when you're waking up because it does have caffeine in it but for mood energy and focus I love my savvy shine drink and then you'll also notice skin products for sale I love you know the skin products that we have but why I love glow so much is because you are healthy all the other benefits that I mentioned and also like um, you're getting your skin to be healthier from inside out because you're literally putting it in your body instead of just putting things on the outside. I'm not saying that putting things on the outside is bad. Definitely need to do that too, <laughs> because I definitely do that. But I love this product and how that works. So I would definitely recommend it to you guys. Um, and I'll leave the link there. You can still um, get it at any time. Um, it would be a great time to try it at any time. I haven't seen this on discount yet, except for now. So I'll get it if you can. Um, I appreciate you guys. Please like and subscribe. I hope you like what you've seen. And um, let's say namaste and I will see you next time.